Uh, and just as the special counsel investigation heats up, the president is faced with a high-profile vacancy. Major Garrett on the search for a new chief of staff. John Kelly will be leaving. When President Trump announced John Kelly's departure Saturday, he hinted that he'd already identified a successor. We'll be announcing who will be taking John's place. It might be on an interim basis. I'll be announcing that over the next day or two. But Nick Ayers, chief of staff to the vice president and the initial frontrunner, formally turned down Mr. Trump, a development that shocked many Trump associates. Ayers has young children and intends to return home to Georgia. Top contenders now include North Carolina Congressman Mark Meadows, former New Jersey Governor Chris Christie, Budget Director Mick Mulvaney, Deputy Campaign Manager Dave Bossy, and Acting Attorney General Matthew Whitaker. Yesterday, Christie gave voice to one concern about taking on the role at this stage of Special Counsel Robert Mueller's investigation. Until Bob Mueller shuts down and hands the keys and his credentials back in, um, no one's in the hey, clear. The next chief of staff will also have to contend with a flood of congressional investigations once Democrats take control of the House and a potential push for impeachment. Late today, outside of his Capitol Hill office, Meadows said this. Uh, I think the campaign for the job would be the, the wrong thing to do. The president has a number of good candidates. He'll make the right decision for his administration and, and, and for the country. According to the Brookings Institution, the president has already set the record for chief of staff turnover, three in less than two full years. In 2012, on Twitter, of course, Mr. Trump mocked President Obama for having three chiefs of staff in three years. Jeff? All right, Major Garrett at the White House tonight. Major, thank you very much.